more than half of Americans are concerned about artificial intelligence. The possibility that bad actors will make a tsunami of misinformation like we've never seen before. A flash crash on Wall Street, fueled by a feedback loop in Wall Street's sell algorithm, wiped the trillion dollars of value in 36 minutes. There's questions of bias. There's questions of transparency. The singularity about robots taking over the world might cause us to lose sight of the much more realistic and immediate and present risks that we face. What rights do I have? What jobs will be there in the future? What are our children going to study? AI can help us. We're already solving problems humans have not been able to solve. Now is a really exciting time. AI will impact literally everyone. Every week there is some amazing new innovation, some new breakthrough. So why are we feeling less confident? I'm going to play you a quick okay. snapshot. I'm going to get your reaction. I'm the synthetic reality avatar for Scott Likens, PwC's global AI and technology leader. But you can just call me Synthetic Scott. I'm excited to be here with my carbon-based creator and all the other brave and brilliant humans at TED 2024. Now I'm going to show you what I recorded. Love steak. Medium rare to rare. It's amazing. Wagyu, ribeye, New York strip. I'll take it all. We hear the word deepfake, but this is beyond a deepfake to me. This is me. And I trust my team, but they can make me say whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. Stand by there, Alex. <laughs> Jen with two N's. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. I think the trust problem is rooted in the fact that people know that these systems make critical decisions that impact their life opportunities, but they are not given a chance to be part of how the technology is built. Don't be intimidated, either by the technology itself or by the people and companies building it. AI can be confusing, but it's not magical. When something speaks as if it's intelligent, it's very easy to imagine that the same processes are going on inside of it as they're going inside of our brains. But in fact, what's going on inside the large language model is not at all like what's going on inside of brains. It's really important to have some level of AI literacy. AI is A, not like humans, B, it's not perfect either. And so really understanding that AI can make mistakes and you don't know when AI might make a mistake. So there's one school of thought that says that if it keeps getting better, eventually it has the same judgment we do. However, it will never have accountability. The role for us is always deciding what we need, what we want, our goals. And so our role in making it ethical is a very human thing. This is an amazing tool that in some ways is terrifyingly capable, but also has to be managed by people. Your talk yesterday was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. We need a better feedback loop between the people who are making these systems and the people who are best determined to tell us how these AI systems should interact in their world. I use red teaming as a way to educate people um, about artificial intelligence, to demystify the technology, but also help them feel that they can critically analyze the output of an AI system. So we're giving people tools to do their own tests of AI models, and we're also giving access to those models. And their job is to identify problems. Overwhelmingly, I've been told that people leave the room optimistic. They understand, okay, well, if this is the upper limit of the technological capability, I can completely understand what the work I do, how my work is complemented by this technology, and how I can work with it. AI gives us the opportunity as humans to stop doing things we didn't want to do in the first place. We've built a world that has a tremendous amount of manual tasks that we just don't enjoy doing. We as humans can focus on the more exciting parts, the creativity, the idea, the spark and use the machines to help accelerate and elaborate and augment. It can empower us to do more. Trust is in the eye of the user. One of the key 
techniques that we believe is important to actually demonstrating that trust, earning that trust, is the idea of an independent assessment of how a system is performing. Auditors and accountants have a long history of bringing discipline and outside independent perspective to systems that need confidence and trust, right? Think financial yep. reporting. The financial reporting ecosystem that has been in place for nearly hundreds of years. This is a, a domain where we have said we need that confidence in order to make decisions about our money. We should all be requiring AI companies, especially the companies building the most advanced AI systems, to share information about what they're building, what their systems can do, and how they're managing risks. And they should have to let in external AI auditors to scrutinize their work so that the companies aren't just grading their own homework. I believe that regulation has the power to bring together the ecosystem that is necessary to solve some of these problems. It can create expectations. It can, can remind us what, as a society, we want to stand for. What our minimums are, what our non-negotiables are, and what good looks like. In other times in history, when we have faced uncertainty and powerful new things that may be both good and bad, that are dual use, We've made new organizations, as we have, for example, around nuclear power. We need to come together to build a global organization, something like an international agency for AI that is global, nonprofit, and neutral. AI is already happening to us. What we can do is put policies in place to give us as clear a picture as we can get of how the technology is changing, and then we can get in the arena and push for futures we actually want. And you're seeing some regulations start to bring that to life. You know, the, the right to be forgotten, my data, that's about transparency. We need the same thing as we think about AI. The right to understand how it's being trained and then maybe to take some of that training away. But this shouldn't be about fear, it should be about responsibility. And the responsibility is for us now. It could be that, you know, AIs will wipe out humanity, but actually I think it's much more likely that they'll save us. A lot of big problems that we can't solve ourselves. It'd be nice to have some very intelligent friends helping us. AI already lets us leap over language barriers and predict protein structures. More advanced systems could unlock clean, limitless fusion energy, or revolutionize how we grow food, or a thousand other things. A lot of the times technology stays in the hands of technologists. That is not the case anymore. This is accessible to everyone. It, it's valuable to everyone. We're not going anywhere with this technology unless we are showing clear value to everybody. We each have a voice in what happens. We're not just data sources. We are users. We're workers. We're citizens. Thank you.